today's video is gonna be a makeup tutorial, yay! A few videos ago I did my hijab tutorial and a lot of you guys requested for me to do that makeup look that I had in that video as a tutorial. I tried to do it as best as I could because I can't remember what the look was exactly but I remember what lashes I used etc. So a summertime glam kind of look. I guess it depends where you're going, if you're a big makeup wearer, whether this is daytime or not. But it kind of is daytime because even if you go to like a wedding or something, most weddings in the summer are during the daylight, even if it is in the evening. I'm going to a few weddings this summer and this is the kind of look I'm going to be trying to do, hopefully, if I can remember it anyway. I can always look back at this video. If you want to see how to do this look, guys, then please continue watching. <laughs> So here I am completely bare faced and I'm just going to moisturise my face with this Soap and Glory Youthful Moisturiser and it has SPF 50 in it. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Eraser Concealer and I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes and anywhere else that needs concealing which is most of my face. And I've got this colour actually um, exactly matching to my face or as much as I could anyway instead of the usual lighter shade that I go for. I'm just taking my Sigma foundation brush to blend that all in. Here comes the Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC that I'm going to dab all over my eyelids and then just take my finger and blend it all in properly. Here I've got my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Um, eyebrow filler and this is in the shade chocolate. I'm just going to get my MAC angled brush and put a generous amount on there. I'm just working my way through my eyebrows, um, brushing it through and then also working in an upwards motion to spread all of that product evenly. Guys, no, I'm my eyebrow. Sorry about that guys. Anyway, just go ahead and fill in the other eyebrow. It looks really harsh, but I am gonna blend it all in properly. FYI, if you wanna know what um, eyebrow brand I'm using, it's just regular shoe polish. I already told them what brand I'm using. This is my Face Finity Compact Foundation in the colour Golden. And I'm just basically going to pat that all over my face with the foam thingy that is provided with it. This is my Sleek Natural Palette. And I have an Eco Tools brush. I'm using one end and I'm just grabbing the white colour and just putting that in the inner corner of my eyes. Also, just spreading that directly underneath my eyebrows, just on the brow bone to highlight as well. I'm taking this lovely dusted kind of orange colour. I'm just putting that all over my lid. This is a angled eyeshadow brush that I picked up on eBay and I'm just going to go and mix the dark brown with the black and line the bottom of my eye with it as if it's eyeliner. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm taking the colour and I'm putting it into the corners of my eye and brushing it upwards and then literally just going to blend, 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 blend. And then you guys can just go ahead and do the other eye. I'm just grabbing this golden colour off the palette and I'm going to put that in the mid section of my eyelid. And I'm just going to take the only shimmer colour in the palette and then put that on top of the colour we just put on just to give the whole look a slight shimmery, summery kind of glow. Time to get the eyelash curlers out. I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes, of course. Using the telescopic false lash mascara from L'Oreal, I'm going to coat my eyelashes generously, top and bottom, with that. So the eyelashes I'm going to use are Eyelash Queen, I think they're a Japanese brand. I'm going to get the eyelash and cut it in two places so that we are left with three small eyelash pieces. I'm going to get my Duo Adhesive Glue in dark tone because then you don't have to disguise it once the glue is dried because it's already a dark colour. Once the glue is super close to drying, I'm just going to put that first piece on the outer edge of my eye. Just place it on there and then fiddle around till it looks kind of okay. Now I'm going to get the second piece of the eyelash that we cut up and wait for the glue to dry. And then I'm just going to put it next to the outer piece, but not completely next to it. So there is a tiny gap in between each piece. I just think that that gives a really nice effect at the end. Dry, will you dry, will you dry? Please dry now! Sorry about my little outburst there. It can be very uh, frustrating waiting for glue to dry. Anyway, we're just placing the final piece um, towards the front of the eye and that's the final look. Do the other eye! I picked up this contour kit from Seventeen um, in Boots and I'm just grabbing my MAC blusher or whatever it is brush and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks and contour my face. I'm also gonna brush that on the ball of my chin as well as along my jawline, directly underneath it and down the middle of my neck. Finally, I'm just gonna do the edges of my forehead, bringing the contour product um, down the edge of my forehead, joining it onto the product that I put onto my cheek as well. This is my Hoola blush from Benefit and I love the brush that comes with this. It's perfect for contouring the nose very lightly so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. This is a blusher set that I picked up from Kiko and I'm going to go ahead and use that coral shade using this Sigma contour brush in an upwards motion along the sides of my contour.
And this is where the look really comes together, guys. This is the Mary Luminizer highlighter from the Balm Cosmetics. It is my most favorite thing on the planet right now. I got it from Beauty Bee Cosmetics. And I've just taken my um, powder brush from Sigma and put that along the sides of my cheeks. Also down the end of my nose, a little bit underneath my lips and my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. Must not forget no stud. This is my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana. I also got this from Beauty Bee Cosmetics. I've just taken a rubbish foundation brush that I've had for ages and patting that underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to take my Loose Powder Sigma brush and put it all over my face. Using a Kiko Pink Lip Liner, I'm going to line my lips. Basically, I'm just going to put the product all over my lips. <laughs> this is a 14-hour Superstay lipstick from Maybelline in Nude that I'm also going to put on top of that lip colour just to neutralise the pink a little bit. Finally on the lips, I'm going to take my Collection Colour Pro Lip Gloss in the light pink colour and just put that all over my lips for the final glossy finish. And that's it guys, that's the final look. I really hope this tutorial was helpful and you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching guys, till next time, bye!